Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's been a little while since I've vlogged. Not a lot happens, honestly, but I felt like vlogging. Uh, so today on the docket, I'm just gonna be doing some tidying. I always enjoy a time lapse clean in a vlog. Uh, meeting up with a friend, Erin, today, who I actually met through my YouTube channel. She had a hairless cat, and when I got Emily, I messaged her and was like, hey secret got a hairless cat so we've been we've been <laughs> buds ever since but we haven't actually got to spend much time together because pandemic so we're gonna hang out today i got some fabletics so i figured i'd do a little fabletics haul um cats you know the drill okay let's get into it <laughs> test out the Becca Zero. I plan on doing a full review of it, but I have yet to actually try it. So this is the No Pigment Virtual Foundation, and I have used the highlighter once. Um, basically, it seems like it's a scam, but I bought it anyways. It's one of those things where it's like, it's just so crazy. It's so crazy, it just might work, but also probably won't do anything. Um, I'm not even gonna look at the instructions today. I'll do all of that before my review. But I've got so many breakouts. No, I'm not looking for recommendations on how to treat them. Uh, um, basically, it looks like a silicone primer, and I assume it's, and I'm sweaty today too. I'm gonna use my fingies. I don't wanna put too much. Wow, all my acne is gone. She flawless. Okay, so I'll tell you right off the bat, it's a scam. <laughs> no, I can see a difference. I do see, like, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but I'm looking at, like, an up-close mirror here. When I look at the difference of my forehead, like, this looks a little more naturally matte and smooth. This one looks a little more shiny, but, like, you know, you got to have really good skin, I think, to see any difference it's also not the type of product that I, I feel like this is the type of product that won't work well under other things even if you wanted to use it as a primer it doesn't feel like as silicone as something like the smashbox kind of original i think this is another like rich people skin kind of product i took out way too much i'm just gonna put it on my shoulders because I don't see myself using this often okay and then for the highlighter i did use the highlighter over makeup and i kind of feel like it's a lip gloss which they say you can use it on your on your face and your and your lips it's like a less sticky lip gloss like you know back in the day when you'd put lip balm and stuff on your eyes well i would and it would be so sticky wow She's flawless. <laughs> I meant to give Emily a bath this morning and I got sidetracked because I started watching Selling Sunset. <laughs> Shopsy daisies. I was supposed to give you a bath before Erin came over. So now I just gotta use baby wipes so that she doesn't think you're a dirt bag. I was just talking about Emily on Instagram stories because she's been taking her medication and I called her one of her many nicknames, which is Embolino, Bembolino, and Barnes, which I realized like it's such a long like journey to how I came up with that nickname, but it's like Emily. Embles, Embolino, Bembolino, and then sometimes I say Salino and Barnes injury cat attorneys because remember those ads for those lawyers, Salino and Barnes. 
So then sometimes she's Barnes cat, Barnesy cat, and Bellino Bembolino and Barnes. <laughs> she's like, I don't care. Okay, let's give you a little sponge bath. And if you didn't know, uh, Sphinx cats need baths. It depends on the cat. Um, but every couple of weeks, because they produce the same oils that a cat with hair will produce, but they have no hair. It's like, you know, the oils that make your hair shiny and things like that. But you don't have any hair. Because you're cool. She, she doesn't mind an actual bath. I'll, I'll give her a bath this week and probably show it to you. But she doesn't like this baby wipe thing. It is a little bit cold. Sometimes I try and heat it up. Selena and Barnes. Injury cat turnies. I didn't choose my curly hair hassles. You didn't choose your hairless hassles, you know? Gotta deal with the hand we're given, my sweet wrinkle gremlin and Barnes. Here's the other half of Selena and Barnes cat. Injury kit turnies. You guys working on any tough cases? Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. <gasps> Look at that face. Replacing these photos, by the way. Took them down a little earlier than I had intended. I gotta find some find some more colorful prints to go up there. I want to do a, I was actually going to get the whole apartment painted, kitchen, uh, going to change out the towel, the tiles in the shower and stuff. And then pandemic and now thinking about moving somehow in the Toronto market. But uh, yeah, so I don't know, everything's kind of on hold, but I know that I just need something colorful above the couch. It's driving me crazy. So anyways. I didn't want to cut a watermelon. I've just been digging it out. Not unsurprising, I've put on about 12 pounds since February. I don't really, I'm not surprised. I'm not worried about it. I'm not, I mean, I'm annoyed because <laughs> I worked so hard those last 12 pounds, whatever. But I bought an Apple watch and I am loving it. I got the Series 5 with the GPS whateverness, and it's really been motivating me to get moving. The tangible stuff, and like, just do what works for you. I've been going out for morning walks, that makes me feel so good. Is it the best form of exercise ever? No, but people will literally never be satisfied. <laughs> I remember when I was going to spin class a couple times a week and I think trying to lift weights once a week, which you should put a, a decent focus on on strength training if you are trying to change your, your body shape and stuff. But I remember saying like, oh, I've been going to spin class and then trying to get to the gym for weightlifting once a week. And someone messaged me and is like, oh, well, you should be focusing on weightlifting, not cardio. And I'm like, I should be focusing on whatever the fuck I want to focus on. You know, and I'll, and I'll post being like, well, I'm out for a walk, like really enjoying walking. People are like, oh, you should try Chloe Ting workouts. You know, it's always something. And most people have good intentions, but it's incredibly frustrating. And I only say this, not because like it doesn't bother me, but I say this because I know people will probably say similar things to you if you are on some kind of journey of trying to move or eat better or, you know, you're like, oh, I'm having ground chicken. People are like, well, you should eat ground turkey or I'm doing this. Well, you should do this. You know, have you tried this? It's similar to acne. It's like, just unsolicited all the time and it's frustrating like let people take their time let them do what's right for them even if it's not the most efficient I'd rather do something and stick with it and enjoy it than force myself into something than pressure myself than anything give yourself that give yourself that permission give yourself the permission to do what you want to do and give yourself the permission to take your time give yourself the permission to make mistakes to veer from the course to whatever the, the pressure that people put on themselves and then the pressure you get from the people around you is why things like this, why taking these things on doesn't work. And I'm, and I'm doing my best to do none of those things and it's still incredibly hard. Cause that's the other thing is people act like it should be easy. You should like, I talked about this on Instagram a little while ago, but it's like, 
you don't have to love exercising. Of course, there's things that you're gonna like more. You know, people will be like, you should try a class if you don't like going to the gym. You should, if you don't like going to classes, you should try lift, lifting weight, you should do yoga, you should go for walks, like, and it's like, what if I don't like any of it? You know, some people like, some people are great at artistic stuff and then other people aren't. Some people are, you know, like this is something that you should be doing for your health, some form of movement. Um, but that doesn't mean you have to like it because I think that's another thing that stops people is like, how do you, you feel like you need to love it. And I kind of have tried to get rid of that thought too of like, obviously there's things I like more than other things, but I just kind of treat it like this is something I have to do or should do for myself, not for anybody else. And with the goal of health in mind. So I've been loving my morning walks. Sometimes it's like 30 minutes around the block a couple times. And then a few times I'll go out for an hour and a half or two hours. Generally, that means I end up at the grocery store or winners or something <laughs> and money is spent, but whatever, especially being home all the time. Someone who works from home too. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Aaron to get here, but here's my outfit. I got two of these shirts from Marshall's or winners. My mirror needs to be cleaned, but um, they were like, they're so comfy and they were like $9.99 each. Marshall and winners has stuff so cheap right now the pants i was wearing earlier from marshall's this is from boohoo last year um from a haul and then obviously chubra baby uh, these are probably from fashion nova i actually have a video on how to prevent chubra three different ways uh but today it was spandex shorts or you could need to try a leash is it on yeah oh, oh ruth thinks it's a toy uh oh. Uh oh. Tamed a beast. Easy, girl. Easy. We tried a leash on Rue and she just had that like spaghetti bones thing. Wow, you look so pretty with your leash. Oh. Oh, she looks great too. She won't listen to that. She said, I don't listen to commands. I'm not an animal. There you go. Wow. Look at that, leash cat. We're gonna take you on the road. Oh, it's too much stimulation root, tails and leashes. I don't think she minds it. No, Popo hates it when I put it on, so she's doing pretty good. Do you think that's the opposite Ooh. of going inside? Who's a leash cat? That's the opposite of going inside. Who's a leash that's cat? Bambos is a leash cat. Leashy, leash, and cat. Ooh, look at those eyes. Same how to. She's like been really. Um, Ooh, look at it. With COVID, it's been. They've been really spoiled. They're going to yeah. be in for a rude awakening then. Yeah, I know. I feel bad for dogs, especially. Oh, I, think. I know. I can imagine. So you're having their owners all the time now. Yeah. Are you baking? craving an epic sandwich so here she is and if you've never had if you're from the UK maybe you've tried these my friend LJ introduced them to me they're called bacon fries I had them when I was in London she's from Ireland but they're so good like I can't even express to you I bought them on Amazon and paid a heinous amount in shipping but 
worth every freaking penny. If you like salty foods, this is it, baby. And each bag is like maybe under 150 calories and oh yeah, pretty pumped. We just a ball of toes. Hello, I thought I would show you what I got at HomeSense, not much really. Uh, I got dryer balls, which I've never had before. Wool dryer balls. Erin said she really liked them. That was who I met up with on Friday. And then I normally don't buy like um, home decor, seasonal, seasonal home decor, but look at this velvet pumpkin. So I figured it would be like, cause I just don't have a lot of storage in my apartment. I can barely store what I own. But I got these three pumpkins, so they're three different sizes. So orange, gray, and Aaron brought over some cool cat treats for the cats. I'll give them to them later, I'll show you. And then this beautiful green uh, with the gold. I'll show you. I just think they look so chic all together. So this one was $9.99. I don't know. They were all under $12, I think. That one's $9.99. It's bigger. And this one was $12.99. So yeah, super excited about these. I also just got a bunch of mail. This is an adjustable pet bowl. I saw Nicole Guerrero talking about it, I think. And apparently because it's on an angle, it's less messy because the cats are so messy when they eat. So I'll report back on this. I got it on Amazon. This I just got in the mail. I bought this and shipping was good. It was a little bit slow on shipping but no customs the black girl sunscreen it's supposed to be good for a deeper skin obviously ultra sheer no white residue so i will have to report back on that but overall the shipping experience was good then i did a little sephora order so i picked up this because it sounds like it's gonna feel really good in the shower the sephora hair scalp massager and that's what it looks like then i picked up i don't even remember what i bought oh i got another drunk elephant TLC friend booze. I feel like this is one of the things that makes my skin look good and my skin is so bad right now. I picked up this Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in dark. They were doing like a welcome back sale. Then for samples, I got this Pharmacy HA and Caviar by Alterna. I really like Alterna stuff. And then I had to get this cleanser as if I need any more skincare. Um, but this is the Orange Sickle Balancing Daily Cleanser and it better smell like an orange sickle that's literally the only reason I bought it well not the only reason not the only reason that I bought it I do like um, volition but let me smell it it smells more like a melted um, orange popsicle but it does smell good so supposed to be um, with probiot prebiotics and antioxidants a gel cleanser so sounds good and somebody is so spoiled Emily has been obsessed with sponges and I just gave her this one to play with it's I'm pretty sure a new Fenty sponge it's been five minutes, so I'm going to have to go to Dollarama because she doesn't love to play a lot, but she freaking loves these sponges and she never meows, but she only meows for sponges. Don't you? We'll meow for sponge. Sponge nugget more than meets the eye. And this is paper nugget more than meets the eye. Paper in disguise. Look at those fresh pumpkins. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I know I didn't get to my Fabletics haul, but I will vlog again very soon and I will include that because I definitely wanna show you some items that I got. I've really been liking what I get from them. I did wanna mention though, I tried these last night, the 50-50 beef and plant-based burger. So it's kind of like in between a beef and a Beyond Burger, which I know some people said was contradictory. To me, I think it's genius. I think it's a great way to introduce people to a lower meat lifestyle. That's kind of what I try to do. And I think the idea of a lot of these things being so extreme and you have to strict, stick, stick to such strict rules, wow, uh, scares people off from wanting to lower their meat intake and it seems intimidating and stuff. So I think it's cool. It was absolutely delicious. Um, and I enjoyed that. I found that at Shoppers. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Let me know what you would like to see in other vlogs, be it home, beauty, 
etc etc as always if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye